welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin a reflective time tonight, let your whole body begin to unwind. Breathe slowly and deeply. Loosen your tense muscles with every Exhale. Surrender the cares, losses and worries in your mind to the Lord who is with you in them all. Heavenly Father, Please remind me tonight of your redemptive work in my life. Nothing is beyond your restoration. No mistake or regret has the power to undo your promises. Please show your faithfulness and love to me in this reflective time. Joel chapter 2 verses 25 to 26 say I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten the great locust and the young locust the other locusts and the locust swarm my great army that I send among you you will have plenty to eat until you are full And you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Have you ever seen a swarm of locusts? The sky blackens as these innumerable pests form one terrifying body of ravenous mouths that can stretch for miles. The ground vibrates against the angry hum of their wings. And within moments, a green landscape becomes brown and barren. A plague of locusts is approaching, the prophet Joel warned God's people. Not literal insects this time, but vast enemy armies coming to bring catastrophic ruin as God's judgment upon his people for their idolatry and sin. But if they returned to the Lord... He promised to do something extraordinary. I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten. Imagine that. God restoring lost years. With God's help, any of us can reclaim wasted material. We can build something better in distant relationships. We can save up again after wasted money. But we can never, never restore wasted years. Once they're gone, 
they're lost. Perhaps you have a list of regrets and lost years from bad choices and terrible consequences. If so, Joel has a message for you. God can redeem anything, even the wasted years. He is in the business of saving that which is lost. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. and out. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you can even restore lost years. Truly, nothing is beyond your redemptive love. I want to use this moment to surrender my most devastating losses and regrets to you. Father, please forgive me for trying to make up for my failings myself. I choose to entrust myself and my life to the saving work of Jesus Christ. He is my hope, my future and my daily bread. First Peter chapter 1 verses 18 to 20 say, It was not with the perishable things, such as silver or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, Thank you for Jesus and the redemptive work he has given me. 
I am no longer lost, no longer a waste, no longer alone. I am your special child for tonight and eternity. May my life be an open door for others to meet with their Saviour for themselves. Amen. <laughs>